and all over the place. You know what I'm saying? But when you have to actually even like coexist with someone else, because we're all toxic, don't get it twisted. Just because I've been eating raw foods for 15 years don't mean that I don't have things to cleanse out. But when you come into, because con- everything is on the unseen, when you come into contact with that force in another, in another being that does not really want to be addressed, it becomes war, you know? So it, it becomes difficult to detox and stay through that. Uh, side note, we also have a community hub to support ones and ones. Um to support thanks judah we we have a community hub to support ones and ones as well that's like part of your community you could dm and connect with other people who are on the same cleansing journey as you i'm trying to get light again here okay um um, yeah so we have that support too kinch watson says when i eat cooked foods the next day i feel like i'm hungover um yeah why uh, there's there's probably many reasons why it could be the time that you're eating the cooked food, but also the cooked food, it puts a lot of stress on the system. It also dehydrates the system. And depending on what you ate and how you ate, it could create an effect like you drink alcohol in the system, right? Uh, fermentation, all of that. So there are many aspects that could be, you know, dynamic to that. But uh, once you become sensitive to not eating cooked food, uh, then you, there's no other way to really live and be, you know, in all transparency, honesty, there's, there's no other way for me to be personally and detoxing for me, I wouldn't be where I'm at if I just ate raw food this whole 15 years, you know, I would not be, I would not be here. Uh, and I think again, and the sensitivity aspect of detoxing is something that, you know, we can prepare ourselves for. And that's what Chef Avi and I are doing during this detox is we're giving you the tools that we didn't have. I didn't have those tools. I had to learn those tools. I had to learn, hey, I'm on 10 day fasting and, you know, I'm having a meltdown because somebody told me I look like I'm a scare scarecrow, you know. Like, how do you manage that? How do you deal with that art? You know, I have to prepare food for 15 people, but I'm fasting. Like, how do I manage that? Are my own personal, my own personal things that come up? And I, and I'm like, wow. I'm like, wow, I can't believe that I'm driving. I'm fasting and I'm driving. And then all of a sudden I'm starting to cry Mm -hmm. and I don't really know why I'm crying. I just feel like I need to cry. How do I manage that? You know what I'm saying? Like, how do I manage the times where I feel super freaking hungry? Like I could eat. I, if I, if I were to go and eat something at that moment in time, like I would be off my kilter. I think maybe I would even die of a stroke or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm for real. I'm no, for, it's, because it's, of it's what serious. I would choose to eat. Yeah. You know? So how do you get through that? How do you, what does it mean? Uh, you know? And I think, I know that my experience, uh, I've, I've detoxed over, over, I've detoxed hundreds of people successfully, you know, and I don't want to say hundreds, but it's over a hundred. It's like 150, 160 people successfully over the past 12 years, you know, and uh, that sensitivity part is a real doozy. Yeah, it's a real doozy. You know, it's a real doozy. Yeah, being sensitive, but uh, learning how to balance that because I, I always say that healing is ugly in a sense of, like you said, people always think that, yeah, I'm high energy, juicing, <laughs> da 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 da, yeah. But it's more than that. It's you're going to cry sometimes. You're going to think about something that happened so many years ago and you're like, wait, why am I crying? Or I just seen a, a cat get hit. Oh my God. Like, so there's there's different aspects of when you peel back the layers of these different um, personalities and characters that you've created. And, and as you empty yourself, you see, okay, oh, that wasn't me. Oh, that angry person, that wasn't me. Um, okay. And, you know, you kind of um, just learn how to embrace it and then coexisting with people that are around you that aren't on that 
and can't comprehend the light, it is challenging. But you have to learn how to center yourself more because it's about, you know, well, how fast can I center myself? How fast can I empty myself from whatever emotions this person I've allowed them to cause with me? So it, it gets it gets really deep when you're talking about detoxing and it's not it's just really past a physical level, but that that is one of the uh how to facilitate being empty and um it is challenging you know it it is very challenging and stuff like that but if you want to do it you know believe believe in in the unknown knowing that it's going to be safe on the other side (laughs) (laughs) safe on the other side And, and you know the key the key the key to is to have the support that you need you know, like that's, that's very, 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 very important. I cannot stress it enough. And um, because once you have the support that you need, you can understand more of what's going on in your goodie. You can understand what's going on in your body. If you have people who have been there and done that already, you know, like we've been there, we've done that already. We know what's going on. We know what's up. We're able to give you guidance so that you're not like, oh my gosh. And it's a day to day Act. It's not. It's not like a program where you just sign up and boom. You interact with us every right. day. We want to hear from. We want to help guide you every day in what you're dealing with, and also um, detoxing your system. You know, and um, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I feel like our program is different because I feel like it's fun. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, like I'm. As you can see, I'm. I like to have fun. Yeah. I like to feel good. I like to be upbeat. So I feel like our program is not just all this like so serious. Like yeah, you know, there are aspects yeah. to it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But <laughs> you know, when you start fasting, so you get so serious. Yeah, like, you get mm-hmm. super serious. Like no, your energy. Boop. But um, we we you know we want to have fun because you know a lot of people don't really know me and. I don't know. People might think I'm like super serious, but I'm, you know. I always thought you You are kind of serious. <laughs> no, I am. But, you know, I do have a Jovia side and this program is going to be super fun because you get to interact and um, and just have fun with us and, and really uh, full joy the experience of having that support because like she said she didn't have support I didn't have support when I started my healing journey and I wasn't even listening to some of the greats just because I, I didn't really I wasn't on the internet like that so I, I totally didn't have support so you know this time and, and is so great because you have all the healers that have a journey back to this realm again that are here to help you um connect back to the healer that's inside of you you know we yes and we have veggie meals on wheels in jamaica what's up veggie i always look at your stuff i always look at your stuff you know like i love your stuff i think he's heavy with raw food as well yeah you know um yeah, it's 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 a I'm gonna tell you a story how deep this detoxing thing is, right? And I know you have to roll out Chef Avia because don't you have a meeting that you you good? We good. You good? Yeah. You good. She good. <laughs> she good. <laughs> um yes, blessings, blessed, blessed love. Yes, yeah, love. um you know, I remember the last time that I did an extensive water fast, it was like around COVID. It was around COVID. COVID had already hit. And um, um, I just had been called to do water fasting and dry fasting. And it was such a trip to me because I had gotten to a point of sensitivity where if I touched a specific part on my goodie, I would start to cry the memory that there's the memory that's there still you know that attaches itself to the physical structure uh i was very surprised you know and it wasn't like i touched my heart or i touched my wound or i touched my you know third eye it was like literally i touched my calf like somewhere on my calf it was hurting it was hurting and i started to rub it and when i was rubbing i wasn't crying because of the pain i actually was it was like touching it had brought out 
a level of connectedness of sensitivity. Like I became sensitive enough to know where different toxic memories rested in my goodie that would cause me to have physical pain. It gets that deep. Yeah. Greetings, handcrafted. Greetings, um, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> blessed I love. I want all her jewels right now. That's my jeweler. I'm going to tell you, but I think I already told you those earrings are lit, you know? Yes. Right those here. earrings are hey, lit green we got that work. heart we got that yeah. heart working out it's right in. there that's that's what we open in that's what we are opening the heart that's the spirit. which is another which brings me to the other aspect too of detoxing during that same period mm -hmm. um i realized that detoxing was about detoxing the heart space and i can't i cannot uh really vocalize the feeling of that um i will say that in studying i know that you know the heart space really i mean it is connected to the mind space and the, the heart space mind. is is <laughs> the heart space is the mind in a sense you know yeah. Yeah. but what i realized is it's like it's more important for us to have a clear heart space like we can't think straight without a clear heart space like people don't think about that like you literally cannot think in alignment with divine order about any topic where you have a heart space that has been contaminated true. you know true. like yeah, true, true. it will always be a contaminated thought because the heart energy that that is there is contaminated so there's hurt and there's pain and there's there's all the there's Grief. stuff still there's connected worry. to that heart yeah. space so even if you say i forgive you in my mind i forgive you i forgive you i forgive you i forgive you but until you actually transmute and transform and bring up you have to almost bring it up it's like sometimes on purpose when i'm fasting I will bring up stuff. I'll be like, I'm going to sit because I'll be agitated and I won't know why I'm agitated and I won't understand it. And I know now, but in this process of what I've come to, you know, master in a sense, like I have come to understand if I'm agitated, I'm irritated. If I don't feel well, even physically, if I'm physically tired, then there's something there that needs to heave up from the depth of some real stink, you know, real stink. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes you have to bring that up and out and transform that to literally feel clear in that heart space because really that's where tr true happiness resides. Like I remember before as a child, I mean, even though I went through a lot of trauma as a child, as a child, there were times where I could remember you being carefree, just really, really yeah. just, there was no worry. Like, you know, you, I can't even think when the worry or when the stress of the world in general started to come into the scene, you know, could it be during teenagehood, you I know, like so all of these. Maybe like junior high school. Yeah, maybe. but there was a time before that where it's just life was just like really light. Everything in life was light. Like you could remember yourself like that. Mm -hmm. That is what cleansing, detoxing, purifying, does for the heart space you know that's what that does for the heart space where you actually feel like you're young again you know and a lot of people be like india like you look you look young you look young i'm 42 you know like i'm i'm good in my 40s right now like i know it's crazy to me too trust me you know <laughs> trust. that's a whole nother topic 16 over there. <laughs> but right. but it's because one yeah. feels that way right. in their heart space right. And they've right. also the cleared their life. mental energy mm -hmm. to not mm -hmm. be cluttered in their mind where they're walking around with this load because regardless of what people think, your mind and your heart, both of those spaces show on your goodie. It shows on your person. When you walk and you hang your head and you hang your head down or that shows on your goodie, what you're carrying, it shows in your face, it shows on your eyes. So once you get rid of that psycho emotional, you know, uh, uh energy spiritual energy Heavy you mess. get lighter yeah. you start looking younger you start even feeling like younger you know what i mean like you start being like if it wasn't for the gray heads on my head sometimes i'd be like wow like i can't believe yeah. it i feel so great but also on the flip side of that 
when you're loaded down with all of that, like heavy, those heavy emotions and those heavy experiences, and you have not cleared your heart space from that, that's why they say forgiveness is really for you than the other person, because it's you who has to carry that. When you haven't cleared from that, it shows, it shows, and you can feel it. Like, even when I'm going through detoxes, I'd be like, ooh, I must be going through some stuff today because, man, like, I'm looking, like, real haggard right now. Like, ooh, we're not doing no live today. No live today. We we don't have to get in contact with people tomorrow. (laughs) And then when I cry, yeah, and when I cry and I take a poo-poo, I'm like, ooh, ooh, I'm looking like I'm looking good again. I'm looking kind of refreshed. You release the waste, the heaviness, the energetically. Heaviness. And you know what, too, sis? What I find is you won't even release that physical waste. Even if you're fasting, you could be drinking all the juices. You could be drinking all the juices you want, all the water, all the meditation. If you have not released that, that physical waste will not leave either. I always say to clients, listen, what are you holding on to? They'd be like, I haven't used the restroom. I don't understand. Mm -hmm. How is this possible? And I'd be like, well, what are you holding on to in your heart space? What do you need to let go of in your heart space to be able to function and to to be able to release that? And you know, what's interesting is after like, cause like a day or two, you'll be going through it and you'll still be trying to figure out what's going on. Why am I so upset? Why am I so irritated? Why am I so angry? Why am I, whatever it is, but then when you allow that to pass through the system, you allow that to come out out, and you have to do things to make it come out. It's not going to come out on its own. It's not going to come out on its own. It may by accident, but that won't be good for you because you'll be up in a grocery store, talk to the grocery person, and I'll say, ah, my life, I don't know what's right. coming up. Excuse me, I'm detoxing. I don't know what I'm... You won't be... <laughs> You won't be prepared. It's true. It's it's so true. Like, you know, your 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 goody is a manifestation of what's going on inside of you. And so um it's releasing toxins. It's releasing um things that you hold holding on to. And I, I just wanted to uh say that what you said was so deep and so true. Um what did you say? Let me get it. Let me get it. I forgot. You keep going. Keep you don't get it. I'm you don't get, get it. it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, but since that, it's it's deep. It's no, deep. It, it really is deep because you know, um, you know that oh, forgiving. It's not about forgiving other people. This is what. This is what. Again, it's not about forgiving other people. It's forgiving yourself because. Like you say, you're the one who has to hold on to it. When somebody do you something, oh, I I forgive you. No, you need to forgive yourself for even allowing that to affect you and let it go, like, for real, because it'll show up in your goodie. And so, you know, (laughs) that's why the mind is, listen, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he, you know. That's right. That's (laughs) That's that's, that's right. Talk though, your 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 fleshly manifestation is a reflection of your mind, and um, that's it's, that's it's right. so deep. So when you release in, like people have all of this uh, weight or whatever, is is waste. You know, um, it's waste on you, and you're releasing toxins and stuff like that. That's why people, when they get all the waste and toxins off of them, they look like a totally new person. Like. I was looking at myself and I said, wow, my, my nose is different. I don't believe in plastic nothing, but my nose literally is shaped different, face different, everything. And I'm like, wow, I'm peeling back layers. And it's constantly about peeling back layers of yeah. people that you created, of the toxins, everything. It's peeling back layers and it's constant transformation to be light to be nothing, to be empty. Yeah. That's what it's about. You want to be empty so that you can receive and fill yourself up with what serves you and still be able to function around others who are a bit dimmer than you. And there's some people that don't even have like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know what's interesting too is it's like 
what I realize is, and I really realize it in a, in a fullness again, as a result of fasting, Mm -hmm. um, I was, I had, I had did fruits. I monoed milled fruits for one year. I didn't eat anything except for one time. I had some pistachios. I had a little, I had a little drawback that one day, but I had some pistachios that one day. But before that, like in the whole year, I didn't even have different seasonings. Mm -hmm. I didn't mix fruits together. I only, so if I had breakfast, I had one watermelon for breakfast or I had five mangoes for breakfast. And I made a point to really deal with the hydration aspect, like make sure I drink a gallon to a gallon and a quarter of water a day, uh, even only mono milling fruits. And I decided, hey, I'm going to go on a water fast during that during that time period. And it was only three days, but Mm -hmm. it was so profound because I remember riding my bike down the street in Houston. And I was like, I had this amazing feeling that I was connected to every single aspect of life around everything every i know cognitively think speaking we say that we, we're all one we're reflection yes reflection yes you know like people talk like that but mm-hmm. the thing is is do we really really like do we really understand mm-hmm. what that yeah. means on a on a on a mo- molecular level on a molecular level you know and fasting detoxing did that for me to show me like no okay yeah you're raw food is yeah but you're not any different than the living force that's flowing through the person who's drinking over there, who's eating, you know, chicken. It's the same life force, that life force, the life force and everything. It comes as that. You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I felt this extreme connectedness. And then I had the, um, I had the pistachios, which it went hand in hand too. Cause it was, I was feeling quite sensitive and I needed a break from the job that I was working at at the time. And so I, I rode my bike to go to the grocery store and I had told myself I was going to get water, but I knew the whole time that I wanted, ca- I wanted pistachios. I was just fighting it the whole time there, <laughs> but it was on the way yeah. to the store that I felt that amazing feeling of being one with the universe in every single aspect, not even mm-hmm. having like a, a, a cognitive difference between me and anything else. Mm-hmm. And then I ate the pistachios and uh, that went away, you know, um, but I still felt it. Yeah. Now someone says uh, handcrafted by Nava who makes some beautiful jewelry over there. Cause Chef Avia is <laughs> over there looking all, I don't like to say queenly, because if people know what queen means, it means a hoe. But yeah, so side note, looking like the empress that she is, she says that's one of the reasons why I say, if you have a problem with me, that's your problem, not my problem. I don't want to take it all, take in all that negativity. And uh, Veggie, on Mill, Veggie Mills on Will says a uh, word, negative thoughts weigh us down. Absolutely. Because the negative thought really represent the, the negative heart space that you're in. Remember, we're, when we speak about like a lot, again, a lot of people in the conscious community, they're like, oh, my art, the laws of my art, balance. Oh, yeah, you know, they got the little eye thing under and all of that. They're going for all of that, right? But the fullness is, is like in a day-to-day interaction, how's your heart space with everything that you do, with right. everything that you do? It doesn't even have to be a person. It don't even have to be somebody with negative energy. It could be your perception about your life. How's your life? How are you rolling with your life? For example, when it rains here, it gets crazy muddy. You know, like could it? My perception could be if I'm hydrated and I'm detoxing, I'm feeling really good, and I, I'm not holding on to all this waste of like Babylon's material stuff. Then I go, oh, my life is perfect. Where supposed to be but if i have this heart space against you know like nature and i'm like oh this sucks you know because that comes from the heart that don't come from the mind i feel it i'm irritated i feel it here first you know and then it sends that signal and then when i think about it i'm like oh like ew and so then when i go out because i have to go out and go make food or i have to go use the restroom then that whole experience is a negative experience because of where my heart space communicated to the mental space. And also because the mental, the mental is, is a heart. It is the heart yeah. center as well. It's, it can't be disconnected from the, from the heart space. Like it's mm-hmm. not disconnected. Right. Like, so 
it's yes, words are powerful. You know, words are the second order of manifestation. They're the second order of manifestation. The, the, the you have the, the heart is vibrating, not to cut you, but that's vibration, right. manifestation, vibration. So the words that you say that vibrates out and that's how you have to watch what you say because you can manifest that, you know, at, through vibration, you know. And, have um, you read? Have you read? Um, have you read? Um, met, the Metanetter? I've heard of it. I don't know. I don't know if I have. I, okay, so one of our scholars, uh, one of our scholars, I would recommend because what we're talking about when we're talking about manifestation of words and mm -hmm. manifestation in general, because anything in manifested is has come from the objective like right like the objective meaning the the space that it doesn't have it, it doesn't have form it doesn't have form right. so he goes into i'm not gonna reiterate everything that he said because right. i think he's too deep for me to even try to like you have to definitely one has to definitely read the works but I'll, I'll show you he has volume one and volume two i have volume two but we're gonna put this book up here for you know it may even be out of print to be honest with you but he speaks about where creation lies and where creation lies in the manifestation like how words where words play a role in that you know because words are actually the first manifested form of thought of the objective that's the first manifested form because now you've taken that objectiveness from the from you could say we'll say we'll call it the emo center but even back in the day like emotions were not people weren't run by their emotions you understand like if this is a new thing to be controlled and operating from an emotional space but you know like so even from back in ancient times, our thinking of where the heart space is and it not not necessarily tied to the emotional person. You understand because right. it wasn't an emotion. But anyhow, the words yes. are the physical manifestation of the unseen, of the unseen. Yes. You know, yes. and yeah, so and it was the word. Mm -hmm. And 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 you know, it's. Uh... I lost my train of thought. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, so going everywhere. No, like um, I, it's a lot. It, it's a lot. It you is, know, because it and it, it, it gets really deep for people out there. Deborah Israel, blessed love, greetings, family, blessed love. I always say Rastafari. I am a Rasta woman, blessed love always. And uh, she says in Genesis, things started in the in the Bible. Um, I think she means like the word. So yeah, things became in existent with the word, you know, um, Shalom. Yes. Shalom. Blessed love. Uh, yeah. So, you know, he even goes in, in the book, he goes into speaking about the spiral, like how, you know, energy works in, in the spiral. This is where the serpent comes from. This is where all, but words that we're really talking Ooh. about vibration, because when you look at vibration, vibration, words, vibration right. happens in a spiral. Naturally, this is where the Fibonacci sequence comes in. This is where everything in nature puts out a vibration, right? It may not be audible to the human, to the human ear, right. but it's felt in the spirit and it's felt in a frequency. That's why we always say you feel first, you feel. And again, we come back to detoxing. Detoxing allows you the superpower to tap in, to feel. You don't have to even say anything to me. I feel you. I would rather, we rather feel you than to hear you. Right. Because when I hear you, I also feel you because your words have a vibration. And th that's why when people lie, they think they could lie, but you can't lie to me because I feel you. <laughs> right. And, and that goes back to uh, detoxing, making you more sensitive. Sensitive to what? sensitive to energy sensitive to communication so you're able to communicate energetically like when you walk for an example you walk into a room you say oh you know it's a bad vibe in here how are you able to do that you have to be sensitive enough to know that 
So it's about, it's about that detoxing makes you sensitive so that, so that you can be aware. And once you're aware.